Friendships that are forged in war often endure long after the fighting ends. In fact, I moved to Houston 46 years ago in part because two of my Marine sniper partners from Vietnam lived here in Houston. One of them, Leo Perez, died at the Houston VA hospital seven years ago from exposure to Agent Orange. The other is Jimmy Carter, and during this Military Appreciation Month, I'd like for you to meet him. Is he lost? Okay. For months, Jimmy Carter had to be hoisted out of his VA hospital bed. He's been undergoing treatment most of the past two years for an array of serious medical issues connected to our service together in Vietnam. But he's finally getting better. I got in this wheelchair today, almost by myself. Jimmy and I were trained as Marine Scout snipers. Our sniper platoon played a key role in the Tet Offensive of 1968. I still wake up in the middle of the night. We eat the same dirt. Tough. Yeah, those were tough times. We were 20 years old. Yeah, 20, 21. We spent a lot of time in the bush, on the long gun, and we really haven't talked about that much over the past 50 years. I don't talk about it. Because some of the things we had to do that we don't want nobody else to know. You know, I, that's the bottom line. You know, we did what we had to do to get out of there. And, and <clears throat> some of the people were not that fortunate. And we lost good friends there, and a number of them since. Oh, yeah. One member of our sniper team, George Wilhite, survived the battle for Way City physically, but not mentally. He shot himself to death in 1973. Leo Perez was our sniper teammate, good friend, and fellow Houstonian. You know, speaking of Leo, he was here too. Yeah. In fact, I was here with him the day that he passed here at the VA hospital. He was a good hand, wasn't he? Yes, sir. Although some members of our platoon were killed in action, the bell has tolled for many more in the years since. The platoon is getting shorter. There's not many of us left. Jimmy's son, Kevin, and daughter, Kimberly, were raised by a strict Marine sergeant. We weren't Marines, but we were in boot camp for 18 years. Yes, sir. <laughs> when they noticed their dad's health failing, he ignored their pleas to get medical help. But two years ago, they took charge when Jimmy began falling. Dad was a little hard-headed, and so Kevin uh, picked him up like this, like, <laughs> like, a, like a baby. <laughs> they carried him here, where multiple vascular surgeries have saved his legs and his life. He's had to be resuscitated twice and had several other setbacks, but he has always endured, like the Marine, he has always been. I've never told you this, but I love you, brother. I do, too. Well, there is some good news. Jimmy was released from the VA hospital this morning, and now he's back home in Magnolia. So instead of coffee and donuts bedside at the VA, mm -hmm. we'll be back in his front yard with refreshments of a different kind.